Welcome to this video. Today I will be doing another antivirus test and today we are testing the free version of Avast. And what I'll be doing for this test is I will be sending an infected email to myself and then I will scan my emails using Avast to see if it does or does not detect the infected email. As I have mentioned in previous videos, I like this test because hackers and criminals love to use infected emails to gain access to computers or to launch some sort of malware attack and so this is a great test to run and so what I'm going to do first before doing anything is we're just going to come over here to settings and we're just going to double check make sure everything's up to date so I'm going to click on update for both the definitions and the program and we'll let that go for just a moment so it looks like we're up to date on both and so I will go ahead and run the scan and be back here with the results. All right, the scan has completed and it came back negative. And so what I will do is I will remove Avast, restart the computer, install a different antivirus program and run another scan to see if it does or does not pick up the threats. After I finished removing Avast, I restarted the computer and then installed Panda and ran the same scan. And we can see that this one did come back positive. Here we can look at the details report to see exactly what was detected. And so basically the reason why I, I run uh, Panda is just to show that there was in fact an infection in my email and that Avast failed to pick it up. Now, a couple things we need to talk about. Does this mean that Avast is a bad antivirus program? No. It just means in this specific test, this specific situation, it did not detect the threat in my email. And Panda did. Another thing that I failed to point out in my previous videos is so far Avast, AVG, and Avera are the three that have not so far detected the infection in my email in this test. Windows Defender, Norton, and of course Panda have detected those infections. Does that mean that Avast, Avera, and AVG would not detect the infection if the email was open and executed? No, not necessarily. Avast may have, in this case, it may have detected it just solely off of behavioral issues, but it's my own personal opinion, and it's a strong opinion, that it is better to have an antivirus program that will detect the infected email before it is ever opened, rather than waiting until it is executed and then hoping that your antivirus detects it and blocks it. If you have an antivirus program that detects an infected email and stops it before it's ever open, then there's zero chance of that uh, infection infecting the computer. However, if your antivirus has to wait until you actually click on the infected attachment before it can detect it, even if it does detect it, that doesn't guarantee that it's going to be able to stop it. There, are, there is malware out there that can get around your antivirus program, even if it's detected. And so it is my opinion that it is better to have an antivirus program that can, again, detect these infections without requiring that you execute the file in the email. And in this specific situation, Avast did not do that. Panda did. Norton has done it. Windows Defender has even done it. But Avast did not do that in this test.